All right, hello, and welcome to Echoes of Color with Jeffrey Morrison. How's it going? All right, we're going to do another whipping shot here. All right, so Craft Please, Midnight Warrior by Sarah Burrier. Burr, no, oh dear. Oh yeah, <laughs> 20 inches by 28 inches, round drill. 62 colors in total, including two ABs, which stands for Aurora Borealis. And they're an iridescent coated type of drill that sparkles a little brighter than that of uh, regular drills. And two rhinestones, silver bottomed uh, drills that have a translucent kind of riveted top. Like the part you see, like what you see once you've placed the drill. Yeah. <laughs> but yeah, let's continue on that way. Oh yeah, just... Yeah, a bit more with this section. I uh, got the case of the squirrel. It distracted. I saw that the um, mail flag was up, so grab that. The previous whip and chat was uploading. So. And I went and made a coffee. And Mom got a couple of magazines. <laughs> or catalogs, product catalogs for Hersners and some quilting thing. It's like, ooh, Jeff, diamond painting stuff. And I'm like, yeah, okay. Cardinal's hanging outside a window with a Christmas tree in the background. I think it's diamond dots, but anyway. Ooh, that looks pretty. And this is the same individual that's my mom's telling me that I have enough for like two lifetimes, enough canvases you don't need anymore. And she's just showing me, oh, it looks pretty. <laughs> I whatever. <laughs> I have done diamond dots before. It's like they're usually partials. Usually, could be wrong. If I'm wrong, let me know <laughs> in the comments below because I already got <laughs> attacked on Facebook for something that happened twenty something years ago <laughs> in an anime. <laughs> oh my gosh. Oh, I'm dying. Oh, boy. Yeah, that was just a one whip and chat episode of that little happy place thing. Oh, my God. <laughs> Hilarious. Anyway. Yeah, if you don't know something and then, like, you mention it, you're going to get, like, torn asunder on social media. Poor me. I get a Hello Kitty band-aid on and everything will be fine. <laughs> it's like, yeah, that was a very minuscule tidbit of trivia in an anime. Oh boy. Mm. Yeah, anyway, this is uh, the woman's hair. Yeah, just her various strands of hair here. Uh, previously I filled in the vast majority of her face, like her skin. So, yeah, it looks pretty good. Just have to fill in the shadowing on her nose here. Simple am I working on here? Okay, here we go. So yeah, hopefully your day is going well, and uh, all your crafting and hobbies are still tons of fun. Saw a couple of completed canvases today. Uh, Train of Dreams, and then... Uh, oh gosh, there's another one. Oh, maybe it was like a... Just progress on a... Whip. Okay, at least one completed canvas. The Train of Dreams and they had it hung up. Really cool. Yeah, it's a Randall Spangler from Diamond Art Club, Train of Dreams. Oh, excuse me. Yeah, snake that canvas. <laughs> Yeah, somebody had, like, finished a segment of The Beast. 
by Mandy Manzano, I believe it was. Yeah, I think so. The beast that has the rose. Whose petals drop every year until the prince turns 21 and then the curse of him being a beast uh, remains like he stays a beast unless he finds true love I think that's how it went the curse of the rose because the beast judged a disfigured woman who was actually an, an enchantress disguised as a rough looking woman homeless whatever Came up to the castle one stormy night. In the Disney version, anyway. The prince misjudged her because of her looks and, yeah, thus cursed the entire castle. And the prince's subjects to become furniture and the prince himself turned it, was turned into a beast. And then people forgot about the prince and all that and the inhabitants of the castle and Belle came along and yeah she changed things up <laughs> that's the Disney movie uh, one of my favorite Disney movies but yeah this diamond painter had the rose completed and like the container the glass container protecting the enchanted rose so Yeah, that's probably like one third of that canvas. It's kind of like a tapestry style. It's a vertical kind of canvas. So yeah. Yeah, I have that canvas myself, but yeah, someday. Uh, <laughs> Oops. Oh, looks really nice. Uh, it just said great job so far. Looks so good. And train of dreams I've seen completed. Yeah, I've seen quite a few completion uh, pictures this year on social media. Train of dreams. That's an undertaking in itself, just like the beast. But yeah, train of dreams is bigger than that of the beast. Uh, nose is running again. Oh, iPhone's charged. Okay, that's good. So I'll plug that for the time being. Yeah, been charging both my phones. <laughs> okay. Ah, uh, good to go. Okay, three. Oh, jeez. Alright. Uh, six. Okay, we're just still doing the sex. Just had a distracted few days. Just do like one or two whip and jazz, and I'm like, just dive into social media, Facebook or whatever. YouTube. <laughs> yeah, and TikTok. Um, I posted like one video on TikTok. <laughs> I don't know how you get the original sound. But I just ended up putting music on it because uh, I just want to get it posted. <laughs> I think it was what's the deepest part of the ocean? And then the answer was the bottom. <laughs> I was just like losing it out of my brother's head. It was on like one of those dollar store kind of crackers and it's just like really corny jokes. They didn't exactly crack, just you know, kind of a letdown. <laughs> Disappointing per se. I guess it partially cracked and then, I don't know, you didn't get that resounding <laughs> When opening these paper cracker things, they usually like sound like a firework going off but 
Now for these ones, like his little place to start on fire. Anyway, <laughs> it's just, yeah. Yeah, it's kind of like that, I don't know, phrase or quote that's in like the fortune cookies. It's kind of like a, yeah, kind of carries that tradition, but it's not, you don't eat the cracker. Like the paper cracker that looks like a wrapped candy, jumbo size, yeah. It's a similar connect, uh, connection via like a joke or statement inside the item. But yeah. Uh, it's just really corny jokes. Like, <laughs> it just gets a slight giggle or whatever out of somebody. But yeah. <laughs> The deepest part of the ocean, the bottom. <laughs> I just love that kind of cheekiness. <laughs> I was just like, all ah, right, I love this. Put it on my wallet and then just did a TikTok. I'm still trying to figure that app out, like how to post. I got the video posted and yeah, 10 people liked it. So, I don't know. like, I'd read the joke out or whatever and I'm yeah, just didn't let me post it with the original sound. Like, I'm still trying to figure out that app. I usually just watch TikToks. You can lose a lot of time watching TikToks or YouTube or scrolling Facebook <laughs> or Instagram. Yeah, that's what I'm on. But... <clears throat> Yeah, you can have a clip up to three minutes long. I've seen that, at least. But you can do it for three minutes. <laughs> it's like, the you compact in three minutes, and then, yeah, there's... Oh, there are answers to that. So <laughs> all over TikTok here, so... I don't know, it seems like a pretty straightforward interface to record stuff on TikTok. Takes a couple minutes for something to upload on there. I noticed it got to like 97% and then it took a couple minutes to complete the upload, but it's oh, alright. It was probably like 16 seconds with that slip of paper in my hand and the camera focused on it. Yippee, riveting stuff. <laughs> oh. The piece of paper was so helpful. Deepest part of the ocean. The bottom. Yes. So accurate. Cutting edge. To the point. <laughs> Can you do well I give my nephew that Harry Potter crest that I did whip and chats on with the channel he he liked it so oh it's so pretty the colors it's like okay <laughs> Yep, yours. Yeah, probably one of the more fun pieces to work on because of the colors. So, yeah, that's alright. <laughs> it was a crest with all four Hogwarts houses. So, on it and kind of like neon colors. And it said Hogwarts on the top of the crest. So, I had a bunch of flowers or something on the side. Or working within the crest. Yeah, it was alright. <clears throat> yeah, I still think there are Harry Potter themed canvases 
from Diamond Art Club, so that's where it came from. Yeah, Harry Potter, Hogwarts, Fine Oddities, Black, DAC. If it's even still on there. I haven't been on the Diamond Art Club website too recently. I think maybe a month or two ago. I received, ordered a couple canvases that I had shown a bit ago, I think. Oh well. <laughs> yeah, it's all here. Yeah, I moved a, like a small pile of books off of a cabinet that I had bought like over the weeks and months earlier in the year like fiction books because my mom wanted to put a couple appliances or a mixer or something in that spot and she's like you forgot a couple books <laughs> they were like non-fiction like stuff she had read and set there I'm like, uh, the fiction section of the house is uh, in my room downstairs. She just laughed and like, take them down anyway. I just left them there. <laughs> I, I think I do have, I have like Michael Jackson kind of biographies or memoirs or whatever. I read those, I think it was like soon after Michael Jackson passed away, those were published, or maybe a little before, holy cow, that was a few years ago now, but yeah, that's like a huge thing, huge couple of books, but yeah, those I read, I believe, so, it went pretty quick actually, I think, I read fairly efficiently, so don't usually read memoirs or biographies, however that works. But, yeah, Michael Jackson. Kind of interesting. Oh, yeah, I actually like staying in the fiction, fantasy, yeah. <laughs> Science fiction... <laughs> kind of genre. Sorry, I just chicken the tray and yeah, chicken the whole table, the whole drafting table. That's how that usually goes. Yeah, we're getting close to finishing this section. It's just me being distracted the past couple of days just from like the holidays and. Just not wanting to do do much. Oh, it's all good. I'm a, like never any rush here on Echoes of Color to finish a canvas, really. Even though that Harry Potter Hogwarts Fine Oddities canvas was a gift for my nephew, but I got it done in like November, I believe. So near the end of November, if I'm not mistaken, so. And then we've been working on, I've been working on this canvas throughout December anyway, so. Oh, yeah, I had mentioned that I wasn't going to do anything like Christmas <laughs> or holiday related this time around. Oh, excuse me. I had done a snowman winter themed canvas last winter, but maybe January of 2022. Frosty Forest Friends or something. It was, yeah, basically a scene from Bambi, but Bambi was on sabbatical or something, and then, yeah, 
They're just hanging out with a snowman. <laughs> no, it is totally different than Bambi, but you got the cute little forest creatures hanging out with the snowman. It was really good. I had seen a uh, finished canvas that somebody else did of that, so it is around. But there are other snowman kind of canvases where there's one snowman delivering presents on somebody's front porch and a bunch of presents and a cardinal was hanging out. So I'm not sure if that's the same artist or not. And I don't know if that was DAC as well, but Frosty Forest Friends was uh, DAC as well. Rounds if I wasn't mistaken. I don't know, Kenta. <laughs> I don't remember. <clears throat> I don't know if that one's still available or not. Frosty Forest Friends, yeah, because there's a couple new snowman ones. Either from a different artist or the same artist. Oh. Look very similar. But, yeah, that's okay. Alright. <clears throat> Ow. Okay. <laughs> Leaning on the drills and, yeah. Surprised <laughs> I don't have, like, drill impressions on my elbow here. <laughs> yeah, this is just round. Yeah, I do either round drills or square, and it's just, yeah. Yeah, I'm not really picky about either, so. As long as the kit has everything I need, uh, I can just jump in and diamond paint. This one I didn't have to kit up because of the baggies. And the one after this I think is baggies as well. I think. Yeah, kind of looks like baggies. It's the paint with diamonds one. Not Probably not going to do an unboxing video with that because it's just the canvas is just kind of sitting there and I'm pretty sure the paint with diamonds box is gone. Or it was grouped together with another canvas from paint with diamonds. It's a canvas I bought probably a couple of years ago now. <laughs> it was just sitting here and I was like, yeah, I'll give Pam of Diamonds a shot. After like contacting the artist to get permission to do it. So yeah, it's after this one, but then I'll do something else <laughs> after that canvas. I'll see how it goes. <laughs> yeah. Probably won't do it. Yeah, dive into an unboxing with that one. Or uh, probably just start it. Mention what it is and all that, but yeah, uh, just <laughs> just get right into it. But yeah, I'll do a proper unboxing for canvases after that. Just the pan with diamonds. It's yeah, it is what it is. I'm just going to do it, and yeah, that's going to be it. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Nothing against paying with diamonds, but yeah, it's just... On the fence about it, but I'll do it anyway. Since I have the artist's permission that actually created the picture, so... Yeah, I've talked about that three or four times now, I'm sure, so... Oh, it, we'll figure it out. It'll be all good. I'll survive. Be it, another whip and chat content. I have tons more canvases to do after that one, so we're good. Okay, T. Alright, 56. Yeah, I have a way to get in contact with the artist of this, the next canvas on deck here to let him know what's going on. I'll probably send to him a finished photo of the canvas and then, yeah, thank him again. 
yeah. We haven't talked in a bit, but yeah. I have a way of contacting him. So. That crap previous color was still on the canvas. But yeah, all good. But I'm like gonna blatantly promote Pain with Diamonds on Echoes of Color at FE. <laughs> Just that stolen artwork thing seems to come up. <laughs> yeah, it's, yeah, an, iffy, uh, an issue I respect and know a little bit more about. But, yeah. <laughs> Alright, and I'm just doing this brown here. Yeah, here in Echoes of Color, I want to give you canvases that I can tell you who the artist is, uh, what company it's from, and yeah, just in case you were interested in the kind of canvas, unless it's a discontinued canvas, which may come up eventually. May be a couple diamond paintings that I might get into that might be discontinued, but I'll guess I'll try to let you know if it does come to that. So I think somebody's uh, working on uh, Mandy Manzano's version of Snow White uh, has a whip. And it's discontinued, but they have discontinued in the brackets in the video, so as a title, so yeah, we'll just see how it goes. Uh, oh, excuse me. I just try to go think of camp as I had at least in the previous case before this canvas once I while well, I was working on uh, the Hogwarts one I did plan ahead this canvas and then the paint with diamonds one but that's the only time I've really thought ahead of what I was going to work on but yeah I, I don't have a planning journal or anything uh, just kind of casually diamond paint choose a kid introduce it and then, yeah just work on it for a few weeks <laughs> finish it and then do another one yeah pretty casual on here eh. but yeah that's how it goes oh well, as long as you hang out have some fun get some diamond painting done or just do other hobbies, then that's good. That works for me. <laughs> so, yeah. All right, 56. There are just a few of that T symbol. It strands of her hair again. She has different colors in her hair. It's makes it a really in, intricate, interesting piece. So. <laughs> No, don't make, get me wrong, I love working on this piece. It's revealing itself. More drills I place on it, so yeah, it's a very nice piece. So. Okay, I have like a triple dot, a triangle. That would be number 31. That's a very definite, hey, it's the symbol. Okay. Oh, it's our lips. Okay. Yeah, it's basically where it is. So, getting there. Starting on our, like our eyes and our mask fairly soon. After a few more colors. So, it's going to be really cool. Hopefully the moon will be interesting once we get to it. That's the 
third row. Moon in her face. So should be really cool. Uh, yeah, we'll get there. We'll get there. So But yeah, you've been watching uh Echoes of Color with Jeffrey Morrison. Uh down below in the description I put my Facebook profile name. It's just how you spell it to find me. If you want. <laughs> Uh, my Facebook Echo is a color, or Facebook business page Echo is a color. I said that funny. Facebook Echo is a color business. I, I don't know. I've had it nailed the past 60 times that I've done these, but anyway, Facebook business page Echo is a color. Okay, there you go. I think that sounds right now. It's just a website within Facebook. That's all it really is. And my Instagram. All three of those avenues. I post section completion updates. That's what I call them. It's basically where I am on my current whip work in progress. Which is this canvas for the time being. Yeah, quick blurb, what it is, who the artist is, and then on to the next section. Usually like a very brief 20 second kind of read and you can continue having fun doing stuff. So yeah, it's, <laughs> it's really straightforward. I also post walking challenge uh, website links, like the main links to like buy the fitness incentive challenges. I just walk. This is me reading on the treadmill. Lord of the Rings for Conquer. I'm on part four out of five. And Silk Road, the treading routes in Asia, just combined into one path, which is like 3,800 kilometers, which I'm sure does not match the distance of the actual Silk Road path. This is uh, Asia we're talking about here, Sam. That's a fairly good northern chunk of the old world. So, the other side of the world there. But yeah, just I'm not affiliated, sponsored, nor will I receive a commission if you click on any of those Conqueror or Pacer website links. I'll just take you to the main website. Yeah. <laughs> but other than that, good luck with all your crafting hobbies and other endeavors. If you're just watching, thank you. Always appreciate it. And uh, yeah, I'll see you next time. Bye. <laughs>